You are watching Figure TV, inspired to inspire. To support this channel, please subscribe. A very great time to you, the viewer of Figure TV Home Documentaries. This is David Livingston Eseru bringing to you the series of what transpired in Mora High School on Saturday. That was the Mora High School Old Students Association uh, AGM where elections were conducted and of course there were a lot of things that happened. So we shall be taking you through this phase by phase. That will be the first episode. Yeah, today I will be taking you through the introductory activities of the event on Saturday where James Odongo, who is now the, the communications officer of the uh, Mora High School or Students Association, was entertaining the people as he was moving around, dancing and donned on the old uniform of Mora High School. I believe you'll enjoy. Just enjoy what you're going to see. Thank you very much. As I take you through that. Well, that has been James Odongo, the elect communication secretary of the Mora High School Old Students Association, leading the Akogo group to the assembly ground where current students were being fed on with words of wisdom by OGs and OBs. Just in case you're not proud to be a Mora High School student, here is some inspiration from some old students who got a chance to speak to the students. Please. Pick a leaf. <laughs> My name is Uncle Ken Oluka. I'm the chairperson of the Old Students Association of Moa High School. And, and as you can see, my hair from 1914. <laughs> By the grace of God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, today is a very special day in my life. 
because listen, listen, listen to me. Because it's a day that I'm handing over the leadership of this association for which I have held since 2004. One of the things that we want to do as all the students is to work with the school administration so that we do not just say that Mora High School has got 100 first grades. We want to say that Mora High School has got 50 who have got 8 for 8. The best. That is what we want to aspire. You know? That, that, and, that, and that's why we come here as all the students. And we thought we should come here to show you that people have gone through Mora High School and they've been successful. Didn't you see Honorable Alice Alasso Ashianud? You saw her. Yes. Did you see Honorable Abala? Yes. Did you know? <laughs> did, did you know? Did you know, children, that the Vice President of Uganda, Major Retired Jessica Alupo Epel, is an OG of this school? And I want to bring apologies from the Vice President because she was supposed to be here as our chief guest, but because of state duties, she, was, um, um, she had to go somewhere else. But she sends you greetings and love. We are going to organize another time, and Totalupo will come here and talk to you people. So we, it is possible. The other day, an OB of Teso College landed there on, and in, in a chopper. And, and I want to tell you that for us, that was not news. Because when we were here in 1995, our own OB, Muzei Peter Tyres, landed here on a chopper. Well, I mean, they don't worry. So, if you can do what they so that is how it is. Hey, And um, we want to say in the next AGM, we are going to invite our brothers from Teso College to come so that they also talk to you and inspire you. We shall also invite from other schools. Open your Teacher, the staff. Dear students, good morning. Good morning. Mora, Mora High School, Oye. Oye. I am completely old girl because I'm also married to mm. Mr. Badu Johnson, an old boy oh, yeah. of Mora High School. <laughs> but just like Kenneth said, ah, we didn't do anything here. Yes. <laughs> We met after university, we met at work. So this is we you know, uh -uh, they, that's not allowed in the school. When I was in senior three, I stood up one morning and addressed our class. And I told the boys that I'm going to study very hard. If any one of you is feeling lousy in this class, I'll read hard, I'll get cows, and I'll marry you. And I met everyone because life was so bad, so hard. So today I come to share with you that before you stand that old girl, who came to this school, you see me still putting on my navy blue, you know, this yes. was a level. Yes. I came here from my senior one where I started to the day I stepped in Makerere University, I never had a shoe. I put on the first shoe at Makerere University. My uniform, which I used for A level, I brought it from my O level school and continued with that skirt. Then I would go and borrow a white shirt from St. Aloysius Teachers College for coming to the assembly so that Mr. Queen Agros would not chase me. <laughs> because he used to chase us. What am I aiming at? I want to encourage every student here today that life is made up of choices. Then there are also distractions. When I talk about choices, the choice you make today, the purpose you decide you decide on today, 
God will honor it. Doesn't matter whether you don't have uniform, doesn't matter whether you don't have shoes, the moment you purpose it, heaven will back you and you will succeed. I came to this school, I delayed because I couldn't report. So I studied in senior five for only one week in second term. But when we went to senior six, I also passed like others. You have to make choices this morning. The choice to focus. The choice for your future and for your children's children. And you choose to read, you choose to be disciplined, you will have every other thing you want. You choose to linger, you choose to disappear in the compound, you choose to not prep, that is what you reap because the Bible says you reap what you sow. Exactly. Life is also made up of distractions. There will be a number of things wanting to divert your attention. Funny little boys, wrong teachings, LGBTQ, weird things. They will all come to try to divert you. But do you really know who you are? If you know who you are, don't be distracted. Behave like water. When water comes flowing, if you meet an obstacle, it just, and then it continues and continues. So I have moved on in life. I am a teacher, social worker, politician, and I am a student. I reported to Dr. Ikoja last week. Yeah. And I say to him, Doctor, I am a student, professor. Please be one of those who teach me again. Yeah. You think I am here? Yeah? I am quite told I was here 40 plus years ago. But my brain is still studying. You can study. Mm. The most important choice before I sit down is the choice to know God as your personal Lord and the Savior. And I pray that each one of you will make that decision when you are still young. God bless you. I was in this school from the year 1988 to 1990. And I was also the head prefect girls. Yes. What you call head guard. Yes. It was a tough time. During our time, Mr. Lupot, our head teacher, headmaster, whom you saw speaking here, was imprisoned. The deputy headmaster, also called the Joku, was imprisoned. And this school was run by students, students leaders, in collaboration with the teachers. And we made it to university all the same. I was not alone. We were about 10 people who made it to university at that time. And others made it to tertiary institutions. And from there, they have gone ahead to get degrees, master's degrees, and PhDs. My class confuses me now. But I saw it when I was coming. There's a block there for HSC. That is where we were. And uh, for instance, I did have a literature in English teacher. I copied notes from my brother who was in Nam Namiliango. Copying, copying even books, like the poor Christ of Bomba. I copied an economics pamphlet. And I shared it with my classmates. We didn't have resources. So if you have textbooks, if you have teachers looking at you every day, telling you what to do, go back from the classroom, internalize what you have been told, do research on your own, and pass beyond us. Yes. yes. We used to have a motto, determination plus hard work minus Laziness is equal to success. I look forward to seeing many people coming to the bench, becoming lawyers, becoming solicitors, becoming doctors, becoming engineers, becoming teachers, graduate teachers, becoming graduate nurses from Mora High School. 
That is what we want to see from you. Well, thank you very much for watching. Until then, bye-bye.